All right, everybody. We got the we got the names all plugged into the randomizer, and we're about to pick a winner. Seventy three entries. This is for the three seventy two giveaway. Here we go. The Norvik way. Congratulations, buddy. We'll be uh, adding some more to this video, but it's raining. Later. What's up, y'all? Well, I wanted to do this outside, over the wood, the wood pile, but it's raining, so whatever. So, before you see this part of the video, you will see the actual winner selection for the 372 giveaway. 5,000 subscribers, man. I appreciate it. You guys make this happen. And you, you keep it you keep it fun for me. And especially everybody that commented on the on the video that uh, wanted to enter in the contest, you know. That's freaking awesome. And uh, congratulations to the Norvik Way. You are the winner. You are the winner of a 372 built by myself. But I'm going to one-up it. I'm not giving you this saw. Because Neotechs suck. This is what you're winning, buddy. You're winning the mutt. A Farmer Tech 372 50 millimeter bore 266 piston swap Duke's performance piston fully machined cylinder yeah this all this all is way better That is a saw. That Neotech, that thing runs like, it runs like crap. I need to do more work on it. I still say Neotech suck. They are not the saws former techs are. I've been into them. They ain't the same. They're the same Chinese parts, but they ain't got it together yet. Will they? Yeah, they're probably getting better now. Who knows how old these, how old these old uh, custom return return saws were? Uh, I mean, I've heard all kinds of stuff that caused the problem being real sluggish like that. Kind of reminds me of the farm mac the novice lumberjack had. I mean, it's just a turd. I mean, even after I put a new cylinder on it, it's better. It ain't that. And I think it's probably a timing issue. I really do. Not the cylinder timing. Ignition timing. I won't play around with this one until I figure it out. I wasn't never going to. I wasn't never going to give you guys this saw. That Neotech. No, 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 no. I think it's uh, a stock. A, a good stock one might not run it. That's all right. I mean, you don't run like that. Norwich Way. Whole former. This was a. You guys don't know the whole story on it. It was a 372 XT, which is the X-Torque version Farmer Tech makes. They had them on sale. It was cheaper to do that, buy this, and convert it than it was to to buy a, an XP. I was like, why not? Not I run it for an X-Torque for a while, but I, I didn't. I pulled it apart. I pulled her straight apart. And I was plagued with air leaks. 
and it was and the final straw was it was leaking oil through the front gasket on the front of the case. So when I went to tear it apart, I was going to I was going to split the cases, put a new gasket up. In the midst of doing that, I twisted the bolt off in the case half with a cylinder bolt. I got mad. Farmer Tech cases aren't that much. So I just ordered some, a set of cases. So that's how it ended up orange and blue. But it's still got the x higher top plastic on it. Which, you know, whatever. It's just a little taller. But I put the crank over in the, in the orange cases. Which gave you another brand new set of bearings, seals. I had this top laying around, so I threw the orange top on it just to kind of make it go together. Uh, yeah, this saw was just a pain at the beginning. I had some issues. I mean, they, like they all do. You got to work through the bugs when you build these these farmer techs, more than neo techs. Chinese clones in general. You're going to have little things you got to deal with. Uh, Norbert Quay, buddy, you're getting a good one. That's all it does run dang good. Uh, it's been sitting here too long. It's been built too long. Everybody bought it. Perfect candidate. You don't get the bar and chain. No, no, no. You're not getting my Makita bar. It's just going to be a straight power head. But, uh, it's a good saw. I've run it a good bit on and off the camera. It's just a good run saw. So, yeah, it may be ugly, and I call it the mutt, but it's a good runner. It's gonna have the, you got the oversized dog, got the big dogs, got the big pipe rubber mod. And yeah, let's say it's got the 266 piston, toy machine, combustion chamber. Everything, the whole deal. And it's swapped over to a standard carburetor too, not the X Torque carburetor. It's got a standard 372. It's a Chinese carburetor, but it's got the standard 372 style carb on it. Intake, all that good stuff. It's all. Decompression valve in it. Yeah. You make a good runner, buddy. Man, then yeah. You, know, you don't want to do whatever you want with it. I don't care. You are the winner. Alright, y'all. Later. Neotech suck.